an address by our beloved Saint Germain from the British Freedom Material, The Vital Importance of Balance. I am the spirit of freedom. I bring to you tonight a remembrance that you are freeborn. You are freeborn out of the bosom of the eternal God, invested with the same immortal flame of life by which every God intelligence has manifested perfection. Within your hearts is the flame by which the archangels soar out of the sphere of this earth into the realms of the sun, behind the sun. Within your hearts is the flame by which the great Elohim of creation use the faculties of thought and feeling to bring an idea and vision into a manifest universe. Within your hearts is the flame which beloved Helios and Vesta and every sun, god and goddess in the universe have used to create and sustain their solar system. You are born free in the use of immortal life and light, in the use of the faculties of thought and feeling and with the capacity to walk the ways of the human or the ways of the angels. I would like to show you the balance between the scepter and the crown, which are the activities of the Magi of the Seventh Age. These are the activities of the priests and priestesses of the House of Zadkiel, which must be comprehended and understood by the heart of freedom in order to balance your invocative powers with the expansion of your consciousness. For your initial lesson, the scepter is a symbol of the power of invocation. It is the symbol of the rod which beloved Sanat Kamara holds. Its power keeps all souls in the seven spheres around the earth so they do not fly into space. It is the symbol of the rod of Aaron. It is the symbol of the rod of power. Within yourself, this scepter is the power of your invocations. The concentration of your mental, emotional and physical energies through invocation draws down the subtle energy of the higher spheres and they are charged into the earth. The scepter placed within the crown represents the combining of the two activities which must take place if perfection is to be manifested on the earth. During the time of Lemuria, the priests were forewarned about the coming of the laggards from other systems. Consequently, they concentrated on the power of invocation and decree in order to purify the atmosphere and to create and sustain a shell of light. They became involved in human mayor, so then the receiving consciousness was neglected. Therefore, there was an unbalance of the directive masculine activity with the receptive consciousness of the feminine aspect, which would hold the balance, and the light of their iron presence and the spiritual hierarchy were shut out. If the priesthood had kept open the contemplative power of the feminine energy, the continent would not have sunk, the same for Atlantis. The same earnest and sincere individuals re-embodied on Atlantis and endeavouring to bring forth the cosmic activity of invocation and contemplation. I was one of those individuals, and some of you were also. The power of invocation did much to dispel the human creations brought forth from Lemuria, but once again, the priesthood forgot about the balance of the masculine and feminine energy. The power of the scepter is worthless unless there is a receptacle into which the concentrated energy may be released, transubstantiated and prepared for dissemination to humankind. The crown is symbolic of the Eastern Hemisphere and the enjoyment of Samadhi. Included in the power of the crown is the power of application, reverence and receptive listening. When you combine these two powers, the errors of the past civilizations will not be repeated.